According to exit poll projections, Sakia Stama center-left Labour Party is set to return to power with a huge majority after 14 years of conservative rule. This marks a historic win for Labour and a significant defeat for the Conservative Party. Thank you so much for that reception. What an amazing reception. We did it! You campaigned for it, you fought for it, you voted for it, and now it has arrived. Change begins now. Sakia Stama, a former chief prosecutor and human rights lawyer who entered parliament in 2015, will become the new UK Prime Minister today. Notably, Mr. Stammer will be the first openly atheist person to hold this position. Current Prime Minister Rishi Sanak has considered defeat, acknowledging the Labour Party's victory. He expressed his responsibility for the loss. The Labour Party has won this general election, and I have called Sir Keir Starmer to congratulate him on his victory. Today, power will change hands in a peaceful and orderly manner, with goodwill on all sides. That is something that should give us all confidence in our country's stability and future. The British people have delivered a sobering verdict tonight. There is much to learn and reflect on, and I take responsibility for the loss. To the many good, hard-working Conservative candidates who lost tonight, despite their tireless efforts, their local records of delivery, and their dedication to their communities, I am sorry. I will now head down to London, where I will say more about tonight's result, before I leave the job of Prime Minister, to which I have given my all. I will then return here, to my family's home. The results of this election represent a major change in the UK's political landscape with the Labour Party poised to implement its agenda under the leadership of Sakia Stama. I am James Chanda, reporting.